Hi all. So in this video, we're going to see about enterohepatic circulation. So this can be asked as a part of an essay question or as an answer briefly. So uh, we'll see some basic concepts that are related to enterohepatic circulation. So first of all, what is the definition? So enterohepatic circulation is a, of bile acids is a loop consisting of secretion by the liver, the absorption by the intestine, and the return to the liver in portal blood for repeat secretion into the bile. So see basically this loop here that is called the enterohepatic circulation or in simpler terms it is a recirculation of bile salts from the liver to the small intestine and back again. Okay, So that is meant by enterohepatic circulation. So we will see uh, this concept more with the help of a diagram. We know that bile salts are produced inside the liver from cholesterol. And the amount of bile salts produced by the liver per day is around 0.2 gram. The total amount of bile salts, that is a bile salt pool, consists of around 3.5 grams. So the bile salts thus produced are secreted into the uh, hepatic ducts and thereby into this common bile duct which in turn opens into the duodenum. Now so the bile salts, they travel through the duodenum, reach the jejunum and finally the terminal ileum. At the terminal ileum, what happens is these bile salts are reabsorbed back by the portal system into the liver. So around 95% of the bile salts are reabsorbed back in this way. And the rest is excreted through the colon. So the amount excreted is around 0.2 grams per day, which means that the synthesis matches the excretion. So this is the diagram showing enterohepatic circulation. We will discuss why there should be an enterohepatic circulation of bile salts. So as I said before, the normal rate of bile salt synthesis is around 0.2 to 0.4 grams per day. And the total content of bile salts in the body of the bile salt pool is around 3.6 grams. Now approximately 4 to 8 grams of bile salts is required for digestion of fats during each meal. So remember you need approximately the double the amount of the bile salts that is required for each meal. Which means most bile salts circulate twice during the digestion of each meal. And thus, if you are having 3 meals per day, the bile salts have to circulate around 6 to 8 times daily. So, this is why in order to maintain, in order, in order for proper digestion of fats to take place, the bile salts should be circulated. Okay. For some applied aspects. See, as I said before, absorption takes place in the terminal ileum, right? So, in case there is a surgical procedure such as ileal resection or if we have Crohn's syndrome, then the, there will be abnormal reabsorption of fats or abnormal digestion of fats which can lead to malabsorption syndrome. So that is an applied aspect for this enterohepatic circulation. Some additional scoring points. So I am just going to more go more uh, in detail about how these bile salts are reabsorbed back into the portal system. So suppose this is an uh, introcyte and uh, this is the interstitium and this is the lumen. So the bile salts enter the enterocyte from the lumen via this transporter and what is the name of this transporter it is called epical sodium bile salt transporter or asbt because it course transports bile salts and sodium now once inside the enterocyte it has to be reabsorbed into the interstitium right so for that also we've got a channel and that is called organic solute transporter or ost and in this way it reaches the portal circulation and inside the blood it travels along with albumin. So these are some um, some details about how this bile salts are reabsorbed into the circulation. So I hope, I hope the concept is clear. Thank you.